Hello, my name is Pavel Křupla from BlenderFig.com and welcome to the note editor tutorial series. I believe this part is number 15. And in this part we are going to cut some edges and we will do it stylish like Blender does it. So in the note editor when you are holding the control button you can move, click and move and you will see this dashed line which actually cuts all the lines or the edges in your scene it crosses with. So just like that you can delete the edge just like that. Isn't that awesome? I love this feature. So let's test it again. I'm holding control and cut. And as you can see, everything's gone. Awesome. So I hope you are excited and let's start coding. Okay, so to represent our cutting line, we are going to create a new class. So let's go ahead and create a new Python file. Let's call that node underscore graphics underscore cut line and we are going to create a new class which is gonna have a name QDM cut line this class is going to extend from Q graphics item so let's import everything we need so from pyqt5.qt widgets import everything and from pyqt5.qt GUI import everything okay we are going to override the constructor as usual so define init and pass parent which by default will be none then we are going to call the super dot underscore init and we are going to pass the parent we do want to store a list of the points uh, which is this line made of so let's type self line underscore points which by default will be empty list and we are going to create a pen so that's gonna be qpen with color qt.white and we need another import so from pyqt5.qtcore import everything So let's go ahead and set the pen width. So set width gonna be 2.0. And because the cut line is gonna be dashed, we need to go to self underscore pen set dash pattern. And here you can pass the list of uh, how many pixels there's gonna be a dash or a line and what's gonna be the space so I will choose 3 and 3 and I want this uh, line always to be on top so let's go ahead and type self dot set z value and let's say for example 2 because it's a graphic item uh, we need to override bounding rectangle method in our case we are not truly depending on any particular size so we can just return q rectangle and let's say 0 0 1 1 and we are going to override the paint method let's try it again paint we will just rename this parameter to be painter and here we can basically set a render hint for the painter so painter dot set render hint and we are going to say that the it's gonna be q painter dot anti-aliasing Painter dot set brush that's gonna be QT no brush. We are going to set the pen, so set pen that's gonna be self dot underscore pen. Then we can create a new polygon line, 
so q polygon f and we are going to create the polygon from the line points itself so self dot line points and then we can just say painter dot draw polyline and take up the poly so this class should be working now with our QDM cut line uh, finished we can go to the node graphic view and we can start adding the cut line into our scene for that we are going to create a new constant new mode uh, that's gonna be called mode underscore edge underscore cut so let's type that's gonna be number three here in the constructor we can create a cut line initialize it and add it to the scene so self dot cut line will be equal to qdm cut line we need to import that so from node graphics cut line import qdm cut line that's gonna be here and self gr scene at item self cut line so let's test it and there is no crash also the logic we are going to implement inside our uh, left mouse button press so that's here and we can basically check after all of these types all of these modes that if we clicked on uh, empty space so that's gonna be if item is none then we are going to check if the modifier control key is being held down so if self uh, or not self but event dot modifiers and qt control modifier is being held down then what we are going to do we are basically we will switch the mode first so self dot mode equals to mode underscore edge cut and we are going to create a new fake event that we released the left mouse button so fake event is gonna be q mouse event the type is gonna be q event dot mouse button release at position event dot local pos and event dot screen pos the button is gonna be the left button uh, the buttons will be no button because always when we are passing mouse button release we are the buttons should be no button and about the modifiers we don't care so let's say event modifiers and pass uh, what actually came in so let's call super mouse release event fake event and return there is another thing I would like to see and that's uh, when I will be drawing the cut line I would like to change the cursor to distinguish that I am not actually using the arrow but I'm cutting so for that we can go ahead and type q application dot and I believe we don't know this q application yet so up here yeah here it is we need to import from uh, qt widgets also the q application and we can say q application dot set override cursor and pass qt dot for example cross cursor i will copy this line because we also want to end somehow the edge cutting and that's gonna happen in the left mouse button release so if self dot mode equals to mode edge cut then we will cut all intersecting edges so 
we will check through all of the edges in the scene if they are actually intersecting with the cutting line. So for that we will going to create a new method. Let's call that cut intersecting edges. Then we can basically erase all the points in the cut line. So self cut line dot line points will be equal to empty list and we will call self cut line dot update which will force the cut line to repaint. Now I can copy the line from above so Q application set override cursor and change it back to arrow cursor and finally we need to set the mode back to mode no operation like this and we are going to return because we don't want to call anything else so for this to work we need to implement this method so let's go below all the events let's say here and define cut intersecting edges and this method will basically be empty for now because we need to update the mouse move events too and we are going to say that if self dot mode equals to mode edge cut then we are going to check the position where our cursor is actually and we will add this point to the cut line points so self cut line dot line points append position and we are going to update our cut line so self dot cut line dot update now when I press play and I hold control and I start clicking and dragging you can see we got a cross and we are painting a dashed line which is our cut line once I release all the logic should be done with the intersecting edges uh, and the cut line stopped being drawn but actually it didn't stop being drawn but the list is empty of the points so nothing is actually being drawn okay so nothing is being drawn <laughs> basically whatever uh, the cut line or the cut intersecting edges the logic will be pretty simple we are going to uh, check each edge in our graphical scene or in our scene and we are trying to determine if the cut line intersects with this edge if it does we will remove the edge so for edge in self gr scene dot scene dot edges we are going to check if the edge and probably the logic of intersecting with another line should be not in the edge itself but in the graphical edge so gr edge intersects with a line line will be defined by two points so point one and point two then we are going to call edge remove okay so how to get the point one and point two point one is gonna be self cut line line points at index and the point two is gonna be self cut line dot line points index plus one because we know that when we are dragging we are adding the points where we are moving with our mouse so we just need a for loop which will go through from the starting point up to the end but uh, we can go all the way to the end itself because the index if it was the last item plus one will go outside of this list so we will basically go for ex 
in range of the length of the self cut line dot line points minus one and we will just add tab here and this cut intersecting edges should be working once we implement the gr edge interse intersects with so for that we will go to the node graphic edge that's here we will edit this method here so define intersects with self point one and point two for now uh, we will return false so let's test this okay nothing crashed so this one works so basically what we can do with the segment defined by point one and point two we can create a cut path which is gonna be q painter path and it's gonna be from point one and the cut cut path dot line to point two and this way we will create a cut path which is a part of the cut line itself represented by q paint path but the cut path has a really awesome method which is called intersects which takes another path and returns true or false if these two lines are intersecting or not or if these two paths actually are intersecting on or not so basically we can return cut path dot intersects with path and path path is gonna be our path of this actual edge itself so for that we can probably we are setting the path here in the update path so maybe we can go ahead and rename this function or this method from update path to calc path refactor and here are all the references there is one usage so okay do refactor and here we can basically remove this line and return path like this inside our calc path uh, of the base class this is okay and here in the paint method we are going to say self set path self calculate path okay and now in the intersect with we can call path equals to self dot calculate path like calc path so let's test it out I'm holding control we'll paint something and you can see all the edges disappeared awesome let's test that again all of them disappeared awesome so let's try this this and maybe this and all of them were removed nice awesome we got a cutting line with holding control we can cut the lines that's awesome so thank you for watching i hope you learned something and see you at the next part